what if continents merged again? Have you ever wondered, what if the world was together? Well, if not the world, then at least the continent. This brings us to today's topic, supercontinents. Imagine how would it be to walk from India to Australia or Europe to the Americas. Seems impossible, right? Well, not if you live in a supercontinent. By definition, supercontinents are single connected continents made up of all or most of the land on the surface of the Earth. With plate tectonics moving around these land masses from underneath, the continents come together to form supercontinents, splitting up again in about every 400 to 500 million years. Till date, our Earth has seen seven major supercontinents namely, Barbara, Ur, Kenaland, Colombia, Rodinia, Gondwana, and the last great supercontinent, the Pangaea. The first traces of microbial life and photosynthesis are found in Valbara, while Gondwana witnessed the evolutionary changes in the first very complex animals, including the very first fish, amphibians, and reptiles. Life flourished in all sorts of habitats in Pangaea including the first birds and early mammals. The dinosaurs appeared in Pangaea, but now the question is why do these supercontinents matter? The plates under these land masses float on the Earth's molten mantle, making these huge pieces of land move around 3 to 5 centimeters per year, nearly negligible for the human eye. However, over millions of years, these slow movements become noticeable, shaping the face of the Earth and every aspect of it as we now know. Climate changes are closely related to plate tectonics. For example, the ice ages that resulted in major migrations and extinction of numerous species. Plate tectonics are responsible for all the aspects of the Earth's face, such as when two or more plates collide, they create the fold mountains. You've seen lots of them, haven't you? Example, the Himalayas, Andes, and the Alps. And when the plates break apart, they form the oceans. With the plates in motion, it's no surprise that another supercontinent awaits us. Well, some 250 million years away. Coming up with a visual idea about the Earth's next supercontinent is like solving a puzzle. You need to find the right piece to fit in, otherwise the puzzle remains incomplete. For years, researchers have been studying the movement of the tectonic plates and have come up with three possible theories of how the next supercontinent may look. Pangaea Ultima happens to be the most popular theory about the next supercontinent. Africa will foray northward, crash into Europe, and Australia into Asia. Antarctica is predicted to move northward, and with its melted ice cap, will eventually meet Indonesia and the Madagascar, turning the Indian Ocean into an inland sea. Around 125 million years later, the most drastic change will take place. The Atlantic starts to shrink due to the subduction under the Americas. About 250 million years later, the Atlantic disappears when the Americas collide against the Euro-Africa continent to form the Pangaea Ultima. The supercontinent will be encircled by a global ocean, namely the Propanthalassic Ocean. The Pangaea Ultima model was proposed in 1982 by Dr. Christopher R. Scotis, a geologist at the University of Texas, and is the most probable of the outcomes of the future Earth, as deemed by many experts. Other theories include the Amasia supercontinent theory, which states that the continents of Asia and North America merge together as they move towards the North Pole. The Pacific will close, and at some point, the Atlantic will become larger. The third one, the Novo Pangaea model proposes that Australia and Antarctica will join where the Pacific Ocean rests today. Though it may sound exciting to walk across one continent to another, the collision of the continents is bound to appear with severe side effects such as volcanic eruptions, massive earthquakes, and climate change. Most of the new supercontinent is bound to be hot and dry because of its humongous size as rain clouds will lose moisture even before venturing much inland. 
With the supercontinent Pangaea ultima centering around the equator, many species will die out as many can't adapt to the hot climate. It is difficult to presume whether humans will be around to survive the collision. What we can safely point out is that humans, if alive, will not be the same species as we know now, as evolution and technology will change the world in the next 250 million years. Whichever model the continents follow, or none at all, one thing is clear. The Earth is our home. It's funny how nature plays its game. Without our knowledge, our states, countries, and continents are bound to change over time, changing their size and shapes every now and then. However, the Earth will remain, and it will be real fun to find out where our houses will stand 250 million years from now. You might just hop off to the next continent on a weekend trip.